Oh, do we got one for you? We talk about the return of HCC, maybe? Who knows? We talk about what qualifies as summertime for you. It's a good question, right? And then we kind of get a little long and a little intense about Beyonce as Storm. Should it be her or should it be someone else? And as you can already hear, someone is saying no. <laughs> Stay tuned. We got one for you. What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of That's the Lifestyle Podcast. And I am your jit, host, Snow. Jit, jit, jit. It's the one and only Kicks God. I still ain't find a fucking name, a suitable name. Fuck it. Yo, it's Tawan. It's My Tawan. name is Plain Jane Ramon. And we'll airdrop Tawan a name Jane. later. <laughs> <laughs> Sound so, effects. So, fellas. You guys were just about to get into a cigar conversation, and I was like, hold Shit. on, because we didn't feed the people a whole cigar conversation before to leave that out of this, so... For sure, for sure, for sure. What were you about to say about uh, Cigar Ramon, is what we're going to call him? <laughs> uh, the wife the wife got me a... I think I mentioned this before. She got me a, a cigar cooler, cigar cooler, humor cooler, Beautiful. whatever they call it. Right, for your birthday. Yeah, and yes, when I buy my cigars, I don't touch them. I put them in. I put them in the fridge for at least two weeks. Mm -hmm. And there's a there's a few of my staple cigars, you know, that your everyday smokes that you know inside out. You know the taste you're going for. Ever since this goddamn fridge touched down, the cigars have gotten so much better. So it's so a gift so that just keeps better. on giving. Fam, cancer, yeah. here I come, son. I, I, I think I think your lady deserves some more flowers. Yeah. Uh, she yeah. get more than flowers. She get me, baby. You don't got to water me. <laughs> and I'm just as pretty. You understand? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Um, so uh, me, and the, me and the missus, we drove out to a cigar, uh, a cigar superstore. So um, you have superstore. your- yeah, you have a cigar store that sells cigars, and their their cigars are usually not kept in uh, um. Uh, they're not kept. They're not stored like uh the cigar superstore or a a uh in a humid uh in a moderately humid uh uh, uh, uh climate. Okay. So, uh, like a humidor, uh, there is it is it's just there, and usually in a sliding glass and or lack of a sliding glass, and then it's there. So we go to the superstore, and instantly it's like, yeah, this is a superstore because the entire fucking store is a humidor, because it's they have the humidor, um. The humidor uh, system, and you see the humidity pumping out uh, from it's, it's. I think it's one in the front and and one in the back, or it might just be just one. But the cigars can be simply they can be kept, kept out in the open, yeah. Or right, or they can be uh, put away. Usually, it's like you know they're they're mo most of the time they're in plastic, and the plastic is relatively open. You just have to fold them up and whatever the case may be. So I went in there and I uh, purchased a couple of acid cigars and uh, a couple of Cubas, Cuba Cubas. I got uh, some cigarellos and Cigarellos. These, these cigarellos we got. Oh, my God. Welcome, they my look brother. Like, I've been waiting for you. <laughs> son, they, they, yo, it looked like, it looked like a roll of weed, but it's not. <laughs> it's not so much better so much better yo they this this spot here uh, i i immediately told ramon i was like yo we gotta make a trip to go out here you you are, you're going to find everything and then so yeah. and uh With the prices are like, nice a spot like that right uh-huh no matter what you do it's you're gonna it's gonna be better for you to buy online it's just yeah 
you know, it's yeah. more affordable that way. However, spots like that, you can get your single sticks. So you go to the tobacconist and you're like, look, man, I'm looking for something with an amazing aroma and a buttery right. smooth smoke. And he'll recommend that. And you yep. try that and you go, okay, give me something else like this. So you get two or three sticks that kind of meet your criteria to the taste you're looking. Uh -huh. And once you once you say, ah, I like this one, then you go online and get the box. Yeah. You get a five pack or you get a box of 20. Yeah. Um, because if you, you know, I'm all for supporting the local businesses, but for cigars, you really put yourself at a disadvantage because of how expensive it is to buy local, right? They got to upcharge you yeah. for that. Yeah. So you could you'll find that uh, a twenty dollar smoke from from the superstore uh, is really a twenty five dollar smoke at your regular smaller cigar shop, but online it'll probably come in at like sixteen to seventeen dollars. Yeah. yeah, and when yeah. you buy in multiple of those sticks, that shit adds up. Mm hmm. Um. So I could I can't say the superstore seems like wholesale prices. So uh, they are slightly less than your typical cigar spot, like just your corner store cigar shop. You right, know, right, they're right. they're they're much and lesser. They're well kept. Huh? Yes, they're, they're yes, better they are. kept. That's the important part because even you can go in the corner store. You know, the corner store has all got that little cigar display. Right. Those cigars aren't kept well, and not you'll see not. some shit in there. And I learned this lesson because. I went into one spot. We were out drinking one night, and I was like, "Yo, I look a crackhead. I needed a smoke." Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I went to I went to the spot next door, a little cigar lounge. This was in um, Greenpoint. It wasn't a lounge, a little smoke shop. Let's call it that. Um, and they had a Padron nineteen twenty six. Mm -hmm. It's not one of my favorite smokes, but it is an amazing smoke that I've come to respect. So if I, cause it's a bit pricey. If I have the opportunity to buy it, I'll buy it. Right. And dude only wanted twelve dollars for it. I was like, the fuck? That's the a good price. Mm -hmm. And I smoked it. Trash. Trash. Yeah. So. They smoke that comes in at a, a five dollar price point, but it's well kept. The well kept smoke is gonna be infinitely better yeah. than a better cigar that's not kept right, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, makes a whole lot of sense. So now the problem with the superstore is uh so you know when you buy a cigar, you should uh automatically, if you have a humidor, you should store them in your humidor immediately. Yep. And you shouldn't smoke the cigar until I'd say maybe, maybe, maybe three days, four days, if not a week, I give depending it two on weeks. the person. Yeah. Yep. Yep. So, uh, the, the, the superstore, the problem with the superstore is we smoked the cigars immediately. Like I'd say we bought them, um, maybe it was around four, four ish, five ish. Uh, uh, well, yeah, because I, I remember. Uh, I had to do something for Ramon and uh, he needed it by a certain time. And I forgot. And I was like, oh, shit. And we did it in the in the store. Hmm. Happy birthday, Snow. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right. Thank so, you very much. Oh, uh, um, you know, we we basically it's like. I must we must have smoked about three hours after that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And. The cigar, it's 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 smooth. Mm -hmm. It's you getting that rich that rich uh 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 that those that rich flavor, and but the problem is it burns horribly. Right, it burns when when your cigar is too is too uh, uh saturated when it 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 burns so uneven. It's and I was like fuck. So I said this is exactly where that came from, and you got a lot of sh a lot of uh, uh 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 like the paper would be singed, but not totally um not ashed. Mm -hmm. 
And so they need to they need to do some work on how they keep their cigars then. Because yeah. if you like yeah. if you go to Davidoff, any any cigar you buy from Davidoff, you're pretty much good to smoke mm-hmm. that same day. For sure. So where it comes from keeping them like why I keep them for two weeks is because I order it come from PA. Right. So it takes a day or two to get to me, and I don't know what the fuck's going on in the back of the truck. It took a day to, right. day to two to get to you, but you don't know how long it was waiting to be shipped. Yeah, that's also so. I prefer to just let me get it right on my own. For but sure. if you know sure. that they kept they they kept it very nice, which is usually Davidoff and Nat Sherman in the city, they also mm-hmm. their rooms are very well maintained. You're good to go the same day, but from what you're telling. Yeah. those humidity pumps in the ceiling. I I honestly, I think that the one that they have are cranked it, up it too could, high. It could be any, you know, it, it's tough to say really what it is. And then you got people coming in yeah. and going and, you know what I mean? These type of things. Right. Like if off. you see how David offsets yep. theirs up, there's vestibules. So you, you right, there's a vestibule right, in right. This, when you first come in, then you're in the cashier area. Then you're in the fucking humidor area, and then the back of that's a lounge. Is that the place we yeah. went to? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That was a nice place. I, know, I don't do I just just for the record, listeners. I don't I don't do the cigars and stuff, but I went to that place, and it's infinitely different mm-hmm. than any other cigar type place. It's I've all been purposefully to. done, yeah. and you can tell like shit's right. You know what I mean? They got yeah. they Davidoff yeah. got some affordable stuff in there, but I mean, my favorite Davidoff tips called the Double R. That's a fucking twenty five dollar stick, mm-hmm. B. Where did we yeah. get you that uh, night? We got the Liga Pravada. That's my favorite, the number nine. Okay. I need to order okay. a box of that, but every time I see that price, I'll be like, "Fam, I ain't got a job <laughs> right now." <laughs> that shit, uh, a box is like two sixty. Yeah, but yeah, um, yeah. welcome, Easy. son. I've been waiting for you, but. Motherfucker, I've been smoking can, for years. I just can I, just I propose up. a bike ride and cigars. You got a flask? <laughs> you don't no, have a no, flask? I, don't. I got a I small one. one. I got a. Sm- it's probably got one. like you could probably get like a neat pour, a heavy-handed neat pour into the flask. So okay. I'll load that up for you. Okay, and we just hit Coney Island, hit the bench. Yeah. Light up. Uh, uh, listen, when, whenever. Yeah. Whenever's whatever. So whenever's speaking of that, whatever. taking bikes and stuff, right? It leads it into my next question I want to ask you guys. What things let you know it's summertime, like officially? You know, music, barbecues, whatever. Riding bikes, whatever. Let, what, what is it? What What's that thing or those group of things that let you know that, yo, it's here. It's summertime. Let's go. Um, I, you guys already heard, uh, getting out, uh, uh, bike riding. I, we've already discussed that. Um, so I'm a, I'm gonna go with the youthful in me. This is not me married. This is me as a youth. Mm -hmm. What let me know, uh, it was summertime was skimpy dresses, skimpy shorts, uh, back, back on, back in the day. Uh, it was biker shorts. Uh, uh, back, and I'm talking back in the late '80s, early '90s. It was biker shorts. It was, uh, you know, uh, when June came in, when late May, June came in, and you were still in high school, and it was just time to take the coat off, and you come into school, and 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 you're sweating on your way to the bus stop. Or you're sweating, or because it wasn't that bad in the morning, but by the time you got out of high school, it was atrocious. Mm. And it, you know that's like, yep, summertime's coming. And uh, music, because I was always big on music. Music never really much, really, really changed for me. Music in the beginning of the winter and music in the beginning of the summer to me was same. The same. It's just. Uh, there are songs that you hear that just resonated summer. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And even like you could get a song in the winter 
that resonates the summer right. and it just feels different. It right. felt different playing it in the summer. Right. You know what I'm saying? Um, I think I need a girl and I'm a part two came out and that yeah. was like, everybody knew like, Oh, we already know what the summer song is going to be. <laughs> yep. 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 Pretty, pretty much. So, yeah. you know, it's just those types of like, you know, I can't, you can't play a, a Wu-Tang Clan ain't nothing to fuck with in the summertime. You can, but that's a winter song. I agree. That's a that's I Tim agree. Boots. That's that's Bubble Coat, and that's somebody about to get their ass whipped if they look wrong. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But summertime, you always you always led with love. You always want it that summertime feeling. Oh, you're around your friends, and your friends bought the bought the things, and you was trying to you know, all right, my man's but dap up, but who that? You know so. That was that was that feeling. Summertime now is you 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 know weather starting to break. You want to do more things outdoors with your wife. You want to go. Summertime to us means yo. It's time to go. Where are we going? You know what I'm saying? Where we where you trying to hit? Mm-hmm. Uh, you know they they. The cruises ain't picking up like this year. The cruises ain't picking up like that right now. They, they, Corona, Corona put the handcuffs on that. I, right, where we going? Where we, we going to NC? I, right, I'm with it. Let's go. We going to Florida? I, right, let's go. We going to, to Nevada, Las Vegas? Like, come on, let's go. You know what I'm saying? So that's what, like, I don't want to go to those places when it's cold. I want to go to those places now because it's that that feeling is restored and and we outside so uh, come on let's go right so that's that's really that's really uh traveling is what makes you feel like the summer time summertime has originally uh, officially started uh barbecues you know we talked about that same situation that says summertime is here. Block parties. Mm-hmm. Says summertime is here. It's a different feeling now. Excuse me, because I know, you know, governor and mayor, what have you, they don't really want large mass groups in one area for like block parties and events like that. But oh uh, yeah. Give me a block party. Mm-hmm. Give me a block party. I haven't been to a real, real solid block party in decades. Yeah. So I mean, even how know. we even how we handle that here in New York City is not the same as what it used to be. So it's kind of hard. Yeah. I've had some yeah. good ones. I got, um, uh, for but me like they're things. good well, in the new era. They're not good mention, for the era um, of the block and, parties. And, you know what I'm saying? So right. I can never be right. prepared. But so I how about you? What's, That's, what's you the, know, you get on the train. What's the and... summer? The women just, they just, they look happy. You know what I mean? I love to see that shit. Um, so that's that. Yep, sun but, season. That's what Also, me too. this is a weird one for me, too. Like, I like to drive through Bed-Stuy and see the kids out. Mm-hmm. Like, that, mm-hmm. that just, like, if you've never been to Bed-Stuy, it's a very strange place to explain to someone. Mm-hmm. There is a there's an energy, yeah. there's a feeling yep. of uh. of of brotherly of brotherhood, of brotherly love. There's a feeling of camaraderie. There's a feeling of neighborhood. There's a feeling of blackness, and it's these beautiful brownstones and tree line blocks and kids playing. They got the chalk on the sidewalk, hot scotch or. They got the fire hydrant oh, open. It's like a, a fucking blackness. Spike Lee movie. Like it, that to me is like, yeah, it's summertime. That's yep. so dope. So you know, that's a little boring, but that's that's what that's what makes it summer for me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. <clears throat> Yeah, for yeah. me, it's a, it's it's a lot of the same as well. Uh, of course, summer dresses is on that list for se- several reasons, right? Um, those sundresses, it's more than I know. Somebody listening, like, yeah, yeah y'all some pervers. Like, no, 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 no. Ramon, Ramon that. just hit it. The <laughs> confidence yeah. that women wear those dresses when it's time lets us know, like, it's about to be a good summer. That's like the what's that? The the, the groundhog. 
It's like Groundhog's yeah. Day. It's like when you see that first chick, doesn't matter who she is, what she is, what she look like. Mm-hmm. Oh, you out here stepping in full. Oh, we about to have a good summer. Because you know right. when she do it, all the other chicks yeah. are like, word, she brought a house undress. I know what I'm wearing tomorrow. And then from there, it's just mm-hmm. boom. So to me, the women kind of dictate the summer in terms of, oh, I can wear shorts now. Yeah. <laughs> if mm-hmm. the girls are pulling out the sundresses, you know what? I don't need this long sleeve. I don't need this jacket. I'm going to just fold this thing up, put it in a hoodie. I'm wearing whatever shirt I got under this hoodie right now is where I'm wearing. Like, F it. Thank you. Thank you, lady, for setting the tone. Let's go. Um, for me, my birthday is June 14th. Um, traditionally, we in school, and I don't get to celebrate my birthday too much when we was in school, K-12, through or actually not even college at all because you're already home. For school, we was in test time. You get what I'm saying? It's always test right. time. So, uh, But because there is a large portion of my family that all of our birthdays are in June. You know, my my younger one of my younger brother's birthdays at the the first day, two of my cousins who are supposed to be my aunt, but they're my cousins, their birthdays there. Uh some of their children's birthdays are there. My grandmother's birthday is here. Um and um now some of my young, young, young cousins' birthdays are there. So that used to be like one barbecue, which would be technically the first barbecue for us. Mm. And in June, that sets it off for the whole thing. Like that one barbecue is going to be all of our barbecue parties put together. So it's right. like, you know, you got that. Then, like Tuan said, the music. And it ain't summertime without playing Will Smith's Summertime. Like it just doesn't happen. You know what that, I mean? Yeah. You could play that summertime song in the anthem. winter. Right. You could play that song in the wintertime. It was like, oh, this is a cool song and all, but you can turn it off. You know what I mean? You get to spring is like spam. You're a little too early. That first nice day in spring, people will let it rock for a verse. But right. you know, it's summer when nobody argues with the song. You just let it rock. It's just a good feeling. Um, Pretty much. Uh, uh, so you hear the music, you hear the loud music, you hear people just out, just out and about. For no reason. Just chilling. Coming home to the block. You see everybody chilling beyond like, you know, if you come home from school, 3.30, 4 o'clock, you know, everybody has to let out. But then when you just got people just like not trying to go in the house, next thing you know, it's like 9 o'clock. And he's like, yo, fam, I got to get in the crib. I'll be back out in an hour, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's summertime. Staying up to 3 in the morning outside, that's summertime. You know what I'm saying? Um... And and that's that's pretty much it for me. You know, there's some other things in there, but like like you said, taking trips and all that, going to the park. You know, we can go to the park yep. all year Basketball. round. Basketball. Like, yeah, you know, but that's when we yeah. we really go. And now today, as grown yeah. adults, um, even though we we kind of sort of do it throughout the year, but ain't nothing like rooftop in in our city in the summertime. Mm-hmm. There's nothing like it. You know what I mean? I wish we had more of those. So. Yeah, that's that's summertime. That's that feeling. Uh, and uh, yeah, so let's move along. HTC out here still alive. They're not dead 100 percent. They ain't all been bought out by Google. They, well, they were just reanimated. They just reanimated. Uh, they dropped a U20 and a Desire 20 Pro, both 5G. Um, they're not here in the U.S. as of yet, but they're slated to come a little later. I felt that. You know, this is a company that we've been largely ignoring in the tech world for quite a while, uh, especially this channel. I know you, HTC has been dead to me since they removed the headphone jack uh, and happy to hear that the Desire 20 Pro does have it. So if it comes here, I may have an option. Uh, I just wanted to know what you guys thought about the U25 G first. What do you what do you think it lands? Is this a good one for them to beat their chest on to come back or? It's just they still missing the mark. Like what's what's going on? Um I I'll 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 lead off. Um it looks good. Mm-hmm. But nowadays that's saying nothing to a whole shit ton of phones that look good. Okay. Um the processor is meh. Mm-hmm. It's a medium tier processor. Compared okay. to other phones, I know why they did that. They're trying to price out uh 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 their phone uh uh, uh to to uh, below where everybody else is uh uh. It's it's a all right. 
it's 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 mid it's mid tier it's a combination of mid tier and uh high end mashed together okay yeah yeah the, the, but the, it's just the, the problem is I don't know if there's anyone else out there checking for them and that's hard that's tough that's this that's the same space that Sony is in with their with their phones uh, who's checking for them now HTC had their moment and it was a good one it was they they had a they HTC had a one. long run. Mm-hmm. They had a long run from Windows uh, Mobile to uh, Windows Phone to uh, uh, into more more uh, Android integration to Android integration to a- Android H- Snack era. All of that. So right now. I just don't see anyone checking for an HTC phone like that. Mm-hmm. It's right now Samsung has cornered the market with Android. Android and Samsung are synonymous. Apple has cornered the market there. It's if you if it's not if you have not bought an Apple f- a, a phone, an iPhone, you bought a Samsung phone, and vice versa. Uh, it's just now this when you're true. talking. When you're talking uh, a phone or a device for uh, my 10-year-old, okay, so a 10-year-old don't need, and, and, and this is a stretch for me to say, but a 10-year-old doesn't need an iPhone uh, uh, Pro Max. F you, if 11. I'm 10 years old, I'm getting a Pro Max. Right, yeah, for you. But when <laughs> when when your parent says, uh, it's 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 footing the money for this device. You can safely safe suffice it to say, they're not going for a Pro Max for their child. Sir, I'm and telling you right now, I'm getting that Pro Max. <laughs> well, hey, well, <laughs> they may not give it, it to me. I'm getting that how, Pro Max. How you get it is up to you. But nonetheless, it's Apple, like, it's, like <clears throat> it's like um, this is a device that you buy for your ch- for your teenager. That's like, yo, uh, uh, mom or dad, I need a phone. I, I, I need it to work a certain way. It just the the price, the value of the phone is nice. It's around that six seven hundred dollar mark. Mm-hmm. Um, it's 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 spec wise, it it holds its own with some of the uh the the uh, the higher tier uh, uh devices, even at a mid tier range. I think that I think for what it's worth, it hits for those that don't require Samsung and Apple. Mm-hmm. But the problem is there's just too many people still rocking with a Samsung and an Apple device, even teenagers. Mm. You know what I'm saying? You got teenagers still rocking. With an eight and uh, with an eight Samsung, with a a a a, a, a ten Galaxy, and they're fine. And you got people still rocking. You got people. I'm with on a the, nine. Uh, I'm on a nine right. Galaxy. Yeah. So you got people rocking with the new uh, iPhone. What is the 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 low end model? E, the C. the SE CE SE mm-hmm. something like that. SE the yeah. SE. So. You got like the, Apple ha- has targeted those individuals that don't need an, a, a, a Max Pro, and those are the teenagers. You're getting really, really good specs at a low end price. This phone doesn't seat well in a market where uh, that's dominated by Apple in the SE. Or Samsung in a nine galaxy. It doesn't seat well. If you're looking for the new and you're, you're, you're it's just like, I just need something new to, right. to, to run, to check out. All right. But that, 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 
that uh those individuals looking for a new device like this is a review device mm-hmm. i i make videos i i review phones so i'm going to get this and review it but it's not staying with me i'm going to review it and i'm give it hmm. back that's it that's all i can say about this device the, both both of these <clears throat> devices mm-hmm. and from what it seems is the 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 u20 5g seems better than the desire pro the desire 20 pro that's scary because it's a pro device yeah and the u20 is better seems better seems better just from this was just from at a glance i'm sorry uh htc is still in the same boat they were in before they even announced these devices struggling but maybe you guys have another spin on this that i didn't see well I let Ramon get into it. I feel like that the the Desire Twenty Pro is the lesser of the two products, so that's why the pro name is like weird. You get what I'm saying? I I read it out and I was like, here. I'm I'm out of here. So oh, I was I, he I was looking for on. the older the Desire. HTC, I don't I don't think it's on that line. The U line is their top of the line. If I'm not mistaken, Ramon, I let you uh, clarify right all now. that. Um, the first thing I'm looking at is the specs, like. And this this is considered one of their flagship phones, and they're they're landing right under like a One Plus, and you can't compete with One Plus. They're fucking killing it right now. And the mm-hmm. the issue is when I look at the processor that they're using that middle that middle of the road processor. Um, I know why they're using that. It's not from a value proposition. It's because Mm -hmm. they literally don't have enough market clout to get a hold of the new silicone. Because Samsung and and OnePlus and all these other guys are gobbling it up. And they don't have the money to, to, to buy into it. So this is what you get. You can make an argument today. And I've often thought about this. Um... I I do edit it on my phone here and there, uh, mm-hmm. but I don't necessarily need the mm-hmm. raw power of the new processing. What I do need of the new processors is the efficiency becomes a little better at the middle of the road processors. So you, you can make a case for middle of the road today mm-hmm. is the best place to be. Uh, however, there are things about these designs like the fingerprint reader that's at the back. Right, it's all like right. type thing, right? You can get that fingerprint reader on the back for pennies on the dollar now. Do I want a physical fingerprint reader mm-hmm. anymore? Not necessarily. And and there's there's two dudes somewhere in the YouTube comments that's like, you nuts, it's the best, most accurate, blah blah blah. Like Yeah, I get it, but fam, put the shit under the display like everybody else and we're fine. <laughs> Uh, then there's the the 3.5 millimeter jack. They're holding on to that, and they're yeah. advertising it as a feature, as a win. Really, in, in reality, it's there because when you get middle of the road shit, they didn't have to make the compromise that the bigger guys do, right? So I can almost proof it on this, right? It, you know, so it's these little things that's like. Right, and the trade-offs that you have to make for a middle-of-the-road phone like this is just not where I am right now. Like, I need 120 frames per second on all my phones, refresh rate. What? I'm not, like, even to this day, I look at an iPhone, and I'm just like, ugh, that hurts my eyes. Because I'm spoiled <laughs> with this Galaxy uh, the trade-off. Uh, S20 Ultra, right? I need waterproofing on my phones. Every day I take a shower, my phone is in there with me watching YouTube videos. When it rains, I don't give a fuck. Yep. I'm not scared to take my phone out of my pocket. You know, like, I, I don't care about any of that stuff. Um, I need I need some sort of facial recognition mm-hmm. to unlock my phone. I don't need the super secure stuff like Apple, but it's nice to have. Um, I need an abundance of RAM. That is not this. So the, that, these things is kind of like... I see I see the yep. shortcomings. I see where they are as a place as a company and it kind of sucks because when you when you hear the brand HTC 
to those who have the nostalgia right. around this brand, they are the flagship company. And they can't even get there today. There's no way for them to get there. And I, I it kind of sucks. Like, shit just moved on. And then you do the apples to apples comparison. The the iPhone SE is no slouch. The, the baseline here is Apple over engineers their processors. And they do that yep. for longevity. So you can expect that the processor, today's processor in the Pro Max, is built to be relevant three years from now. That is nothing to sneeze at. So when you look at the iPhone SE, although it has last generation's processor, it's still got a ton of headroom in it. A ton of headroom. That processor is running circles over whatever ACC is presenting here at the same price point right. with none of the shortcomings or compromises. It, it's hard to recommend this to somebody, but that's from a U.S. market, right? Wherever yep. the fuck this thing is going to be released, I'm sure it will be well received. And unfortunately, that's going to be... Uh, we've seen that before with Nokia. We've seen that with a ton of other brands. That's just the world. You see it with Sony. That's just the world they play in. Yeah. And it, it kind of sucks, yeah. but... From what I'm seeing here, I'm not impressed, but there's nothing that says they're not on their ball game. They're operating well within the limits they have to operate, but it's just not enough for someone like me. We say it with Sony. Sony sells everywhere except here. Yeah. All right. So I saw the the HC U twenty and the first thing I said was, Yeah, you you don't get nothing out of me. And the reason is there is no headphone jack on it. The desire has the headphone jack, right? So out the gate, I'm one of those people who's still out here with the headphone jack. Sue me. Um eight gigs of eight gigs of RAM, two fifty six on the ROM, it's a full HD ten eighty P, whatever. All that stuff is par for the course and like you said at the middle of the road, I can get more for probably even less, right? This phone will probably come out like around $650, $600 when it hits us. Um, I'm sad about it still not being uh, enough for people to get back into in terms of the U.S. is because I know that that camera is going to be pretty damn good in terms of the software part of it, right? For I mean, because we've seen this with the HTC uh, M M series, the M the M seven, M eight, the M nine, M ten, or HTC one M seven eight nine ten, um, right. and I remember Ramon, he flashed it, what was it, Saijin mod or whatever, and we took photos with that without whatever HTC did, and those photos were like yikes, and and um. I don't remember what the end result of that was, but I know I looked at my HTC and was like, yeah, fam, don't worry about that. We're not doing that to you. Because that's what was one of my most favorite things about that phone. Um, you know, when it comes to all the other stuff, I mean, I have someone that's sending me photos from like a, like a S4 or 5. I know you're like, what? I'm like, yeah. And on my phone, it still looks great. And I'm speaking in terms of just like general consumers like for us we'll be able to like look at it and be like oh to yeah nitpick it yeah right. we can nitpick it but i feel like for most people who's not technically inclined like it still is a good working device um however i think the only sales that they'll make here is exactly what you said the nostalgia people right so when you go to the store because see you all three of us we're not above buying an unlocked right. phone if we had to the good news is we don't have to Right. Um, but if you was to walk into the store, Samsung uh, uh, Sprint or something like that, and somebody was to see that like that, that 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 HTC brand up there, they'd be like, oh, let me look at it. They'll probably look at that before they look at the one plus if it's on the stores. They'll probably look at that if it's you know, what I mean, I mean, my dad had a, a Alcatel uh, a phone that I know none of us would have looked at. And I had to tell you, Rizzo, like, yo. 
I've been messing around on my dad's phone, and this this phone ain't bad. So I think someone like him would see the HTC and be like, oh, well, let me let me look at this. And um, I don't think they'll pull the trigger, like you, like both of y'all said, because of the price based on what you can get. Um, so it'd be nice to see them use this as a rally point going forward. I I just felt like they've gotten it wrong for a while now. And I don't see what kind of marketing they can pull without taking something dramatic and without getting into the all the stuff like um, they can't afford this processor, this, that, that processor. You know, it, it just seems like they're going to need some some crazy marketing in order to get in front of people. Now, as far as they, yeah. they see Desire 20 Pro, when I was doing the homework on it, I really do think, again, this pro name is throwing it off, but this is definitely not their uh, top tier. It almost places range in a in a third tier, uh, and this is probably going to be a three hundred dollar phone, six gigs of RAM. It has the um, it has the uh, what you call it, the, the headphone jack that I'm hanging on to, and even at that price, I'm probably going to look at the Motorola phone, whatever the latest G is, and and beat this. The best thing about this phone that I'm seeing, because I know they got the forty eight megapixels and all that. The best thing I see about this phone is the battery life, which they both come through at 5,000 milliamps. You get what I'm saying? So, like, I, I think what you guys said about this is absolutely correct. If any of the two phones sell yeah, here design, in America, yeah. it will be the $300 one, the, the Desire 20 Pro, because that's a more friendlier, marketable name here. Um, mm-hmm. And it also is going to cause some good confusing. <laughs> 20 Pro versus a U. Um yeah, I, I I mean, and it's it, it seems to be heavy. It, it, yeah, it it seems to be heavy. So I'm sure that plays a, f- a factor in the U.S. market. I feel like other play- people don't care about it too much, especially when we do homework on those other phones that never make it here. Uh, it which would, videos that we should good, probably uh, get back into? But like, you know, it does have a, a quick charge and all that. But just overall, uh, this is going to be a tough battle for them. And, you know, for the most part, if anything they're doing here, I look at these two phones and I see future yeah. Google phones. Stuff that's going to come out with the Google logo on it. So. What's it called? Pixels, right? Good Nexus. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, I don't know. We'll see. We'll, we'll see. It, it's. I'm happy to see him playing ball, but I would like for them to do it correctly. So let's change gears and get into uh, some Marvel business. <laughs> um, with the Marvel rumors that was going around, Beyonce to play Storm and the next Black Panther movie, you know, I saw a bunch of memes and a bunch of cries about a bunch of, uh, if I'm not mistaken, a couple changed out org petitions to get Beyonce up out of there. People trying to remind her of her history and movies. Um, so pretty much a lot of people out there, whether it's a little or a lot, they got a loud voice. And um, it's been the bunk. It's a rumor. It's somebody made it up, whatever. But who do you think would be a good candidate to play Storm in the next Marvel movie? So, uh, well, before we go uh, into my my candidate, um what the fuck was anyone thinking about uh, Beyonce playing Storm? I think that is horseshit. I would never, ever, ever pick uh, Beyonce to play Storm. Uh, I don't think uh, she's a, a great fit for Storm. Um, and I don't think that... Uh, I don't think... I don't feel that uh, she's an, uh, an impeccable actor. I think there are roles that are fit for her. And I think that there are roles that are not for a fit for her. This being one of them. Uh, I don't think that. I think that Marvel, if they were to pick her to play Storm, would have been a, a cash grab. Like they're going like in in it's black it's black uh Panther. They don't need 
uh, uh, Beyonce as a cash grab to entice people to see Black Panther. More, moreover, uh, she would be a horrible storm to play. Uh, as, as like, why, why? But she is rumored to, this is rumor, rumored to be uh, producing a song for Black uh, Black Panther. You know, as soon as I as soon as I seen the news, I was like, "You stupid motherfuckers!" This is probably about a song. Yeah, <laughs> this is like it's, a, it's, this a, is probably it's, about it's, a song. It's a rumor that she'll be doing one of the songs for, um, for Black Panther, and she might have a part in the movie, but there won't it won't be a tremendous it won't be a lead role it will be a small part here or there whatever um now my pick as someone to play storm would be Issa Rae I don't know if you guys are familiar with Issa Rae Issa Rae <laughs> but I think if you you should be familiar, I know Ramon is a thousand percent familiar with Issa Rae, but that is my go-to. That is my go-to for Storm, and in the Marvel uh, Cinematic Universe uh, movie, whether it's Black Panther two, whether it's in Marvel and Disney, if you're listening by any chance by any say or uh, uh you just your child just so happened to click on this uh podcast and you're hearing me now make contact with Issa Rae. uh thank you you're welcome that is my that is my go to for storm okay. i i i have spoken all right <laughs> Ramon uh, I don't know if Issa Rae would be she's too bubbly Storm is a very serious character I don't want to yeah go ahead continue I, I, have, I have not yet seen that out of Issa I just, Rae I, just, I gotta make a comment on that Will Smith was too bubbly Jamie Foxx was too bubbly mm-hmm. I don't know I'm just basing on what no, I've I, seen uh, that's what I'm saying like we didn't get Ali and Ray through their comedy shows. We didn't see that, you know? Yeah. And no one thought, no one thought that short, uh, light skinned boy from Golden State could hit multiple shots from the uh, middle of the uh, court. <laughs> and then, yeah. <laughs> Continue, uh, Rizzo. I, 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 hear, I hear your points. I don't know. It's yeah. tough. It's tough, um, Rizzo. I, I get what you're saying. I, I get. I Those are just my two examples to where I was like, Okay, this is you gotta you gotta give people growth. You gotta give them space yeah. to grow, and you don't know until. It Plus, is. I'm a little annoyed at insecure because I feel like they're stretching <laughs> the fuck out of that content. I'm yeah, that. I'm seeing that. that that's true. Um, Every fan I know of that show is saying the same thing. But it's not it's not fair for the discussion we're having. Right. But whatever. Right. Um, I don't agree with Beyonce because I think Storm needs to be a darker pigment woman. Hmm. You said you, she has, you don't think I she... don't agree with Beyonce because storm needs to be a chocolate black, beautiful sweat has always been yeah. in the comics and yeah. anything, but will just not suffice. Yeah. I think they would, uh, what was it? Alexandra ship. Was yes. that chick's name? That, yes, that's it. I that's the the younger one. That was the younger one. I mean, if I've only seen like press photos of her after the movie, but she looks nah, darker in the movie. She's even too light skin. Right, yeah. but I was I, I didn't know what she looked like until after I looked her up. I was like, oh, I've never seen this chick in anything before. And then every photo that came up, she looked she looked lighter than what I saw in the movie. And the she's from, a better fit. The girl from the new James Bond flick. I like uh, her. I'm not familiar with that one. I didn't see it. Which one was that? Oh, uh, I don't know. What's the new James Bond movie coming out? I will go ahead. I'll I'll, I'll pick it up. 
Um, so I I don't even know who the fuck. No time to die. I don't know who would be. I don't know. It's it's tough because a lot of our a lot of our serious black actors that um dark skinned women the issue there is I don't know if they are fit for action movies in that transition. Mm. So I I don't have any fits for that. No, but it ain't Beyonce. I'm gonna tell you that. Keep that Lion King shit over there. Is it uh, all the way, all Naomi, the way over there. Naomi Harris? Is that the chick? From um, the Bond? Not sure. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure her name is, but I definitely saw her in the Bond. She's in a new Bond trailer. Okay. Hey, I I don't think Naomi Harris is a great fit. Possibly not. I'm just I'm just yeah. trying to like who's who? keep it dark. Yeah. Like it has to be dark. Keep it closer it has to, the, to, be, to the way. Yeah. Look. Yeah. Because yeah. Storm is in the comics. Storm is very particularly drawn. Mm-hmm. This is and, true. And I would hate to see it ruined because Marvel's done such a good job at, at bringing all of these characters to life. Like Iron Man. Perfect. Um thor perfect you know what i mean like captain mm-hmm. america yeah perfect and i would say captain america even if i remove if i remove marvel from that hugh jackman as wolverine what? perfect perfect um i don't know they'll probably break my heart with gambit but um yeah it's, I it's tough I, I know you don't want to hit an answer but i still think he's the best guy <laughs> who chat tatum i don't know he looks just like him to me i don't know maybe yeah you know i struggle with that to to visualize what people look like in costume, right? You know what I mean. I I can't really, because, like the other day I was I mean, like, you Yo, could son, get John Cena, fam. <laughs> I, I mean, that. yeah, you know, but he, I think he's too bulky. Gambit is a nimble dude, right? He's That's not a true. he's yeah. not a buff a buff character. That's true. So I don't I don't know. Listen, so it, it was. I'm sorry. No, I, I was about to, I was about to get into it, but that. Okay. Oh well, no, you get get in, get into it, and go, go ahead. Go ahead. So when it comes to this type of this stuff today, it's harder for me to answer, right? Because I've not been able to have my um, TV time, my movie time, like that. Um, the stuff that I'm catching, I'm catching, and then when I discover you there, you could have had 30 pieces of stuff on your credit or on your ready, but if I catch this one weird movie, this is where I discovered you, you are a legend from here. I don't know about what you did backwards. Um, and with that, I'm falling behind on many new up-and-coming actors and actresses and some seasoned ones that's been going strong for about five to ten years. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, so I had to look it up. But before I looked it up, I said to myself, well, who do I know out the gate that could be this? And my first question was, well, what storm are they going to play? Are they going to do a young storm or are they going to do an older storm? Hey, she um, should be a young storm. I Right. And again, I don't know what the angle was. If it was a younger storm, I see uh, Janelle Monet. You know, I see um, what was the other girl name? The. uh Hold on. I just had her name up here. DeWanda uh, Wise. And that's where I drew the line. At. After that, I didn't know who else to to categorize. Uh, What's the old girl's name from 12 Years a Slave? Oh, I didn't see that movie. Uh, but you know you know the black actress I'm talking about. Yeah. Um, the, is she African? Is she? She probably is. Tawan, what's the name of the actress from um, 12 Years a Slave? Who? 12 Years a Slave. I don't remember because I didn't see that. It's movie. probably it's probably the girl that I was going to well, I was going to get to the next thing. Let me let me check it out real quick. I, Cuz I I saw her and I was like, "Yo, Lupita." Okay. Lapita. Oh, Lapita Nyong'o. Oh, no, but you can't. Lapita yeah, would because Lupita. she's already she's yeah. already in, and she's actually where is she? she would. 
she's already in the Black, no, Black Panther. Pan- but she would have right. been like, oh my God. Or or one of the girls from the, what's his bodyguards? Black Panther's bodyguards. Yeah. Like I, that, that I, look I, yeah. of a woman would be perfect for Storm. Yeah. So, so. Hold on. L- Lupita, Lupita Nyong'o in the Black Panther. Uh, you know how I think they're going to spin that is right now she's in the Black Panther. She doesn't know. She's not known to have powers at the current moment. However, uh, uh, no, I don't agree with her either, but I get it. So what I think they should do is now spin it to to her actually having power. Yes. The Wanda, the Wanda Wise, the Wanda Wise. Yeah, that's, that's why I mentioned. Bad that's why bitch right there. Yeah, that's why I mentioned the Wanda Wise. She would be it. You know what I mean? So I, I, I Naomi Harris isn't Wanda bad Wise, either, but mm-hmm. That the Wanda Wise, I think, could do it. Um, yeah, yeah, I give it to her. I give I, it to her as well. I don't have too much with Google, uh, Google Raw, as I like to call her. Um, and then you mentioned Naomi Harris because of that show. Well, I mentioned it because we were looking for the other thing. And then Zoe Kravitz. I would like to see Zoe Kravitz do something else in the Marvel world, no. but not Storm. Not Storm. <clears throat> and um, there's one other other woman that I came across was the uh, I think it was Aja King. And you, uh you said Aja Aja King? Yeah, and Dominique Jackson, right? And Dominique Jackson is is uh her face just screams the palette of what Storm was sold to us as a kid and through the show. Um of course, you know, you do the makeup thing to to fit her a certain way and boom, she's there. Uh but like I think she's older. The Wanda Wise, she's a little older, but that's if you're doing the older uh storm but you could do right. the, you could still have her have that look and makeup can make you look slimmer you get what i'm saying and younger so i think her face would would pan out just right damn so i had to i had to fucking beautiful fam yes yeah. she is um, yes she is so i was thinking like any one of those that we were just speaking of would probably work i mean because look at halle berry when she plays storm our beef with halle berry has been the acting we we just ran with it. So but if we're sitting up here we introducing and reintroducing stuff and obviously we can't use her, let's get it closer to, to the chocolate scale. Um and I wouldn't have had an issue with Beyonce doing it. I'm actually all up, all for giving people an opportunity to flex that they get, gave. I was one of the main people out here saying, like, yo, y'all need to chill out on Ben Affleck because I know y'all didn't see those three movies prior to him being announced as Batman. And we see where that went. So it's like if she's in it, I'm fine. But I would like to see one of the ones that we mentioned here or one f- from one of the lists that I just showed you. And f- because we don't have everybody to see our screens or anything like that, I'm just going to read off the names so that they understand what we're looking at. <clears throat> Kiki Lane, uh, Aja King, Anna Diop, uh, Yatidi Baraki, Yaya Da Costa, Dominique Jackson, as we mentioned, DeWanda Wise, uh, as we mentioned, Tiana Paris, uh, Ashley Featherson, which I don't recall ever seeing before, uh, Deborah Ayarande, Tika Sumter, which I disagree with, um, Ryan Destiny, and then the other one was uh, Kiki Lane again, Zoe Kravitz, Naomi Harris. Uh, they even had Beyonce on this list. Google Raw, uh, Sindel Noel, Dewanda Wise again. They had Rosario Dawson up here, which I I disagree with. Janelle Monae, who I oh, said, yeah. and uh, Sonequa Martin Green. So of the first list, I can go with Ryan Destiny as a younger Storm, and Deborah. Ayorinde mm-hmm. as an older storm. As the storm of what would be current. 
Right. So uh, the uh, uh, Ryan Destiny younger uh, uh, coming up uh, under the Shadow King, mm-hmm. learning how to be mischievous and be that person that shouldn't be doing what she's doing or or what would be considered pre Professor X uh, uh, Storm. And right. then uh, 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 Deborah Aorinde as uh, uh, post Professor X. This mm-hmm. is her fucking shit up. So the other, the other, the other characters, uh, mm, Ashley Blaine Featherson, no, Te- Teana Paris, mm, yes and no, Deborah Wise, yes. Uh, Deborah Wise doesn't actually, and, and then I'm going to get into a conversation I had with my wife about uh, 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 full figure, the figure of a person, what the person's body type should look like. Cause we got into this big thing. Uh, she felt like I was body shaming, um, Beyonce. I said, no, I'm not body shaming her. All right. Because Beyonce let has me a be, superhero stance. She has a superhero stance, but I don't think she has a superhero curve. Well, this, this superhero, this superhero. Not a superhero I, curve. I, 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 I would I would say her curve was better than both the storms we've been seeing. Right, but not for Storm. Okay, so, uh, Beyonce doesn't. Uh, Beyonce Storm I, I, has I get, I get what you're athletic saying. body. And again, I'm not body shaming. Uh, Beyonce doesn't have an athlete uh, athletic body. All right, she has a te- technically right now, and again, we all know she's had kids, but. Beyonce's body is wild. She's got the Let preferred the fir- body. <laughs> Absolutely, she has a uh, she has a wild body, but it's not an athletic body. Storm or the depiction of Storm is an athletic body. It's an I can't fault how sto- how a, a drawer drew Storm. So in my mind, what's imprinted in my mind is Storm being an athletic or uh, having an athletic build. I mean, well, Captain so, Marvel didn't have it. The person that's playing Captain Marvel didn't have it either. Right. But Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel has a girl next door frame. Even in the uh, what we see uh, uh, drawn, she is the girl next door uh, the high school, uh, um, the high school, uh, 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 sweetheart. What is that sweetheart person? The she's a cheerleader. She wasn't that. She she didn't have the the abs, but she was just the cheerleader girl that you wanted. Uh, uh, uh that. So that's Captain Marvel. Okay. Storm had abs. Storm had a, a sh- storm. Looked like she'd run. Or, or circles around a, most dudes. Uh, so again, it's the image getting close to the image that we feel Storm should be is where I am. I so, it, but I the argument because I was like, I was like, when I first she was first talking about it, and we we're going back and we we're talking about who they wanted for 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 to play Storm. I was like, I don't feel that she has the body. To, to play Storm. And boy, oh boy, why did I say that? She went left with it. And I'm like, okay, so I'm going to let you get this off because you and your, you and your feelings right now because you feel like I'm, I'm body shaming. And I said, when I talk, I'm, I'm, I'm not digging into uh, uh, the particulars and I'm not talking about uh, what Beyonce is to black women at this day and age. She's everything. I am fully aware of that. And, but I am speaking from a child's perspective who was raised, who was born in the seventies, raised in the eighties and came up through the nineties and the two thousands. My depiction of storm 
is does not look like Beyonce. Sorry, that's my opinion. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it it's never like if Beyonce wanted to play any other character, fine, fine, whatever. Long as the depiction is correct. Damn, we already spent too much time with that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I mean. I mean, we good. We over. We over. Just over an hour. We good with it. No, no, no. I'm just talking about like the whole, that whole part of it. Like, I think, I think what you're saying is correct. Like, I, I don't think you need to clean that up. I get what yeah, you're going well, at now. No, I, no. I was just saying. I was just speaking on the the, the conversation that we had. Uh, right. Uh, uh, my, me and my wife were like, she damn near wanted to go to blows with me. I'm like, I'm, wait. I'm sure. Calm down. Calm down. And look at this from like a you shit. I yo, I thought she was part of the beehive. Like, whoa, easy does it there, soldier. But um, Dude, at man, any rate, at you. any rate, yeah, man. At any rate, um, you know who I, else would have been really cool? Interested. Go ahead. Um, she was in the uh the shield, uh, Agents of Shield, the chick um. Uh, Christine Atkins, Christine Adams, Christine Adams. But I think she probably well. It's it's not. I mean, you can always be reprised, but they probably won't. I think actually no. You know what it was? I think she was in. Um, somebody told me she was in Black Lightning as well. Nah, she don't do it for me. She don't do it for you. You don't think? No. Nah. No. Is it is because nah. don't pay attention to the hair; it's the square of the face. No, nah, yeah, no, nah, she yeah, don't do it's, it. It's it's not so much as that. I sh- there. I think in the, in the world of Wakanda and Africa and so on and so forth, there's a much better character that's a better fit for her. Mm-hmm. Uh, just not Storm. So here's just the other one Storm. who I felt she could have been like it, but she was actually used in the Captain Marvel movie, and that's Lashana uh-huh. Lynch. Oh, uh, oh! That was her homegirl. Yeah, and as soon as she popped up on the on the screen, I was like, "Up, oh, we know where you're not gonna be." Yeah. As soon yeah. as I saw her, I was like, well, "You just took yourself out of the hat." If they ever pull uh the X Men under the Marvel belt. Yeah. So she already has powers. I forget what they call what her name is in the ooh, comics, but ooh, let's 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 talk about that one later. You about to put me on to some juicy shit. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, yeah. yeah, Maria Maria Rambo. You about to so you about to put me on to some juicy shit. I'm about to go. Yeah, she's got a jump. she's got a character on her own with that word, yeah, and and her character might kick the shit out of Storm. I'm not. Uh, uh, might might See? might. might might see here's might, a level I might. never got to. Y'all about to y'all about to kick me down that pit of no return. I already see this. It's so, always nice to know like some of these other characters, you know, what they what they what they can do, what they got going on, and where they got started from. That part is I always enjoy that about comics. Definitely. Definitely. As far as you the, know, the, Oh, I was just gonna I was just gonna say, oh, uh, you know what uh, I found that was odd is she maybe they maybe she didn't need to be there because uh, she, uh where where she didn't really it wasn't maybe the place for her mm-hmm. but the um the uh funeral for tony starks mm-hmm. she wasn't there she wasn't there hmm. and uh although uh this girl was there, Captain Captain. I was about to say Captain Planet. He's our hero. <laughs> about to take take pollution down to zero. Oh, but oh, then oh, died because Marvel. of coronavirus. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> oh man, uh, RP to everybody Marvel lost a lot of CV. Yeah, Captain Marvel was there, but she, uh, she her character uh, Maria Rambeau uh, wasn't there, or her daughter. When they are very significant. In the scheme of uh, Captain Marvel. Marvel, and and I I know they're going to they're they're likely going to go into that in the next Captain Marvel movie, 
about how she gets her powers. Were they not part of the, was it the New Avengers? Uh, yes. She was. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. And more, more, more over her, her daughter, Monica Rambo, who is stronger than her mother. As it should be. So, yeah. So it's, okay. it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's, listen, the MCU, like right now where they are, and I, I, I want to get you, let Snow, you don't want you to get your point off, uh, as well, uh, where, where the MCU is now with having access to all of these characters, it's about to get turned up to a thousand. So, you know, nah, they, they need, they, they need go- to protect Aurora, son. Absolutely. Aurora's Absolutely. always been one of my favorite characters. No lie, son. Mm. Absolutely. Yeah, she's part of the new Avengers. I remember this. I remember this. She had the same Captain Marvel suit, except it was black and white. Mm. Yeah, yeah, with a star in the center. Yeah. Of, well, uh, and she, she kind of wore a jacket. Well, uh, like Monica Rambo. Yeah. Monica, yeah. yeah. Monica Rambo. Monica. Her mother, her mother Maria Rambo, um, um, was a type of type of a uh, what do you call it as well? She was. Yeah, I want to see. Buddy. I want to see the write up. I want to see the write up for her because she has powers. She has powers. Uh, yes, that's Photon. Hey, okay. Photon. Her character debuted in 1982. Okay. MCU deep, fam. Yeah. yeah that's one of my favorite things about it. Because even the stuff that I thought I knew, it's like, nah, you didn't know this part, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, yeah. So, Monica Rambo, her daughter... Uh, uh, Maria Rambo's daughter is also was also Captain Marvel. She was fo- also Photon. She was Pulsar, Daystar, Scepter, Lady of Night, uh, Monica Marvel, Sun Goddess, and Spectrum. I don't know if y'all heard all that, but I think that gave yeah, you know. yeah, we heard it. So that's dope. Uh, yeah, yeah. So just a little Marvel geek geek shit going on right now. So. I wanted I wanted to get back to uh, a Beyonce thing real quick, right? So for a while I've been wanting to see her in something that was gonna stress test her, right? So like, you know, Charlize Theron went on like this little this little I think it was a three movie run where she had the um what was the movie that Mel Gibson originally did. And then we used um, Ed Hardy, I think it was, whatever his name is, Mad Max, right? So we did the she, she we had the Mad Max, then she had the uh-huh. Atomic Blonde, and um, I forget there was another one in there, and I'm like Beyonce needs two movies if she wants to have the mu- the music the uh, the movie career. She need one, like the Mad Max. And she needs one that's a toned down version where she's either the B character, an important B character, and um, and like Atomic Blonde or like you know the, the chick that was in the um the Gemini Man. Yeah, I didn't see that. Okay, well there's a badass chick in there. Beyonce needs something like that, and then the third one is something that's gonna like set her emotions out. You know, something that is going to get like dig into her emotionally, because I think then that would be like, OK, I let her rock. Because I remember a time <laughs> where everybody was shutting down uh, um, um, J-Lo after the Selena movie. And mm-hmm. it took her a while to get it right. But she got it right. And then we all like we look forward to seeing her on screen. At least some of us do more people than it did in the past. Uh, and I'm, I'm not about edging out. Uh, singers or entertainers from the movie side. I think that Beyonce is a superhero. 
I don't know, but I, I kind of want to see a, something like grungy, dirty, and and like emotional. You know what I'm saying? Like I want to see a, something like that. These superhero movies are too bright. Not, not Aurora. Fuck that. She's too. <laughs> <laughs> she's too important of a character to be out here. I'm, I'm, I'm not. I'm not trying no, to I hear, you, I hear your point. I hear your point. I'm with Holy you. Shit. Like, I want to see her. No, you, just not like, really Aurora. Pussy. You you want to be a. Uh, uh, Put some fireworks on Beyonce. She can be Jubilee. There. How about it? You know, you know what I'm saying? Like, fam, Aurora. So, and, and I feel like, you know how most people feel about, about Black Panther? Mm-hmm. That's how I've always felt about Aurora. Yo, she can play Monica Rambeau grown up. Who, Beyonce? Yep. Yep. Like. And not the birthday even though the kid is, even though she, uh, her her mother is pretty dark skin, mm-hmm. the child was fairly not yeah. dark dark, but but you can get, a, get you can get that off. But the character is you can the get that off. Drawn fairly dark skin though. You, you it, know it is. People it is, want people but, want the the wider uh, woman to be to be or uh, uh, um Monica Monica right? They wanted who? My uh, Dewanda uh, Wise. Yeah, the wise. They, they wanted, wanted her to be. Her to be... Um, uh, no, no, nah. Uh, she no. she gotta she no. gotta be a main role, son. Yeah, yeah. She's a great actor, son. She gotta be a main role. Yeah, her storms, storms, um, dialogue is very it's, intense. Is heavy. Son, yeah, it's I, don't, I don't think I don't think a lot of people understood. Like Storm was the leader of the X Men. Yeah, it wasn't yeah. Cyclops. Yeah, Storm. Well, it, well, it was Cyclops it, was the captain. Was. I, I guess we could say, but Storm but was Storm Professor was X's right hand man. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? And yeah. you can say I look it was at, Gene, I look but at, like, eh. mm-hmm. yeah, I look at Cyclops as the the general. Like put him on the field, let him make calls on the field. Storm, He's like a sergeant at arms. St- Storm made decisions. So Storm, Storm was Storm was Storm made firm decisions. H N I C baby. Yeah. yeah, I'm fucking yeah. rocking with Storm, son. I rock with yeah. Storm heavy. After after Gambit and Thor, Storm is my my number three without a doubt. Mm. And when you understand Storm as and her powers uh manipulating the uh, weather. First of all, she's a um she's a uh uh what do they call a basically she's a very strong she's a very Omega. strong character. Omega Omega level. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She's a Omega level mutant. Ah, that's what yeah. it is. Beyonce right. can play rogue. Oh, she yeah. Could but I mean World Rogue, World Three yeah Rogue is that. actually yeah Rogue <laughs> is actually a country a, I mean that's what I, Beyonce she, would, she could she could call that she, country Bama shit yeah because uh, Beyonce is from Houston she can pull that she can pull from that uh, Houston twang they can rewrite they can rewrite or restructure Rogue to be a light skinned black person yeah. it's not a difficult thing so. Yeah, I can see her playing a rogue. I was I was trying to steer clear for it because I felt like they had room for uh another country person um playing of uh, the part of rogue, but I can see Beyonce they having room for Beyonce to play rogue. What about the girl that played Wanda? She would have been a good rogue that played Scarlet Witch. Um, you don't think so? Hmm. N- no, no. Only because I feel like she has. I can't see her as any other. Remember that thing got you were saying. Got you. Well, you can't see. It, I can't see her as any other person, but but Scarlet. Fair Witch. enough. Fair enough. You know, like maybe prior to before that. See, you need somebody that. Uh pulls from like Jojo the singer the singer uh, Jojo first of all yeah she's a perfect role. yeah perfect like if she was able to act 
as well as she can sing. Yeah. I don't know if she can act. Oh yeah, look at that. Good call. Yeah. Jo- Jojo call. perfect role. I tell you another perfect one who, who I think would have been great for it had she not already had a position in the X-Men. Jennifer Lawrence. Yeah, yeah, for Rogue. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can see that. Yeah. Yeah. Had she not yeah. already been in this. Who is she in the X-Men? Rogue. She's the blue girl, baby. Who the fuck is that? Yeah. She saw uh, that's um Mystique. 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 Oh yeah, I guess. Mystique. So Mystique is such a loaded character. I f- still feel like you, she hasn't really been tapped into the way that they should. Absolutely not. Mystique is absolutely fucking not. villain, heroine, scumbag. Fuck, <laughs> She's like everything in one. So when you get into the diet, the psychology beto- behind Mystique, Mystique has become what many male figures in the Marvel world wanted. And she's given birth to so many characters she's given birth to nightcrawler she's given birth to a uh, rogue she's given birth to so many like so many characters that because she was always that person that she didn't have a place right in seemingly well most shapeshifters they say don't have a place amongst mutants because they're so conniving and when you want a you want a character that can tap into the the mindset and the psychology of mystique it was never just um what she was able to do and as far as copying a person it was her psychological play that she uh, her psychological influence on so many people. Like there can be a movie about Mystique and what she does and how she how she manipulates everything. Ghost Rider is a everyone. shapeshifter. Say again. Ghost Rider is categorized as a shapeshifter. How the fuck did that happen? Because he goes from one form to another. He goes from a human form Got to it. a. Uh, that cl- classifies him as a shape. Got it. Um. Okay. All right. I say we so, um, wrap this one up then. Well, I wanted to get one off, but I guess I can. I can. We can wait. Which so I was actually, off. I was actually. I was actually uh, going to go into all of. Uh, the characters birthed by Mystique, but we can, we can, uh, we can go into that later. Okay. Well, that's it for today, ladies and gents. I think we uh all proved that we want Beyonce to thrive, but we want someone else to play Oroyo. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> and there's some pretty interesting things. I, I I do like this topic because uh it brought up some actresses that I'm not familiar with, so I had to like look into them, see what they did, and some of them I did know who they were. I just didn't know it was them. Um, right. You know, so it's it's dope. I always feel like when you're redoing something or you gotta cast someone, get someone. That the general now I, I see myself as a general movie user now. I'm in that range I never wanted to be in. Get someone in there that don't have a reference. So that way they can be immersed with that character all the way through. You know what I mean? Yeah. And uh you know. We'll see. But um I'm your host, Snow. My name is Ramon. Uh, and it is the one and only Kicks God. And we, we out of here. here. Peace. 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 Thank you.